Let's talk about the professional level of ICANN exam. You'll be taking five courses, corporate reporting, advanced taxation, strategic financial management, advanced audit and insurance and case study. And all these courses have one thing in common, they are voluminous. And what you want to do is, depending on the number of courses you want to take, I recommend, if you're writing all five, I recommend at least four months in the minimum of study and treating past questions because they are voluminous and except you want to forecast and just guess and read some sections it is almost impossible to cover the entire syllabus of the professional stage of the exam in a very short time except you are reading and studying full time even if you are studying full time i think a minimum you should get is three month of solid study if you want to write all five papers and um, then the thing about the professional level of the exam is that they expect you to be professional in your approach to questions and also in how you present your solutions and one thing I, I noticed about the exam and many people don't know is that there is a way the examiners expect you to present your answers and well, peculiar to each of the courses and the way to understand what they want or how your answer should be presented is to spend more time studying the pathfinders and and that's the past questions. Many times people just go through the past questions and look at, oh, what is the answer to this question? Oh, this can be defined as this. Oh, okay, this is how I compute this. Oh, this is the formula um, computing this and the end there. But however, you notice that there is a way the answer is presented. For example, when you see a question, whatever the question is, whenever you see, make a recommendation on this subject matter, you notice that if you check through the pathfinders, the past questions, you notice that in all those questions, what they do is they open up the solution with their report, stating their findings, and afterwards, the computation comes after the report. And that is how your answer should also be presented and one thing you want to do is you want to invest time, a whole lot of time on past question study during your study for the exam and when the exams are closed. So you want to pay attention to how are the reports prepared? How should I write? What should I write for How lengthy should it be? Many times you have to compute first before you can make a recommendation or come to a conclusion. But however, in presenting it, you are expected to present your recommendation first. So you know, oh, okay, I should leave a page, a page and a half, then make my computation, then draft a report. How should my report be drafted? There's a format for a report. All those things are very important in the professional level of the exams. And you need to know this, understand this before your examination. And once you understand it, because with the knowledge you have, you have a, a great score. And uh, many people ask what course is most difficult uh, in the professional stage. Well, in my opinion, I, I won't say the, in terms of the time demanded for study, I won't say they, are, they demand equal time, but I think they all will be the same because you have to pass all the courses. However, <laughs> However, I feel, you know, if you are thinking of oh, which one should I spend most time with, I think corporate reporting, then strategic financial management and advanced auditing and assurance, I think those one, in my opinion, require uh, more time than the other two. So that is about the professional stage and in the subsequent recordings, you know, each of these courses will be discussed in details.